within this past, I guess it'll be seven days, we will have all of our PCs done, our final PT test, and then our EOC will be done. And that is what this entire time at basic training, this is what we have been working up to. So there's a lot of studying and a lot of preparation that is being done right now, and it's really stressful, but I'm getting through it, and I'm actually really confident about it. So make sure you're studying for your EOC. If you want to do a group study, that's fine. Individual study, that's fine. Johnson. Like your, do you at least know most of your memory work? Yeah, that I'm good. Mm, I want to say that's so the best. If you can remember your memory work, you should be able to remember that because it goes up like that. But see, in our memory work becomes 37 and then 737. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, the three little, the three people that we have up there, they're from the 37th training wing. Okay, but it talks about the 737 training group before it talks about the 37 training wing. Hmm, anyways, okay, wing and numbered. Because who comes first, Colonel Newsom or Colonel Gennaros? Gennaros does. On our list. Do you really want me to prove you wrong right now? Thirty-seven training, thirty-seven, thirty-seven training group, thirty-seven training wing. That's what I'm saying. Wing, group, opposite from this. Group, then your wing. But this is first, second, third, fourth. That's the way. This I'm is going. the bottom. This is the top. We're going from the bottom to the top. This is the bottom of our chain of command, this is the top of our chain of command. Well, if you would have said it that way, I'm thinking of just going down. Well, no. Either way, we're both right in a way, if you think about it. So why is, so you just killed your whole flight? You just killed your whole flight. Why would you not tell him the bomb is at the front door? So now there's 40 people you're responsible for dead. But you're not doing your freaking job, still. Go, go out there and get him, go get him. Go get him, go get him. Don't even, don't even do your checks. Go get him, tell him to come back up here. Everybody else stop, they're, they're like, So you want, so you're going to do drill 1500? You want to teach him pray real quick? Yeah, I thought it was cute as best. Yeah, no, I mean, I, made I, I wouldn't run towards it. I mean, so hey, this week we also did uh, weapons training. We did learn a few moves and a few positions and everything. And I thought it was great and amazing to be learning that now um, because I am doing security forces. So that right there, that weapon is my baby. So I'll have to learn how to, um, you know, carry it, and I need to get a little stronger because honestly, holding that weapon was a struggle for me. It's super heavy, and I had never touched a weapon in my life. I know these don't have any anything in them, any bullets or anything, but 
It's super heavy. I had never actually shot a weapon before. I never held a uh, weapon before. Um, so I've, all this is so new to me, but I need to get used to it because it is my job. Um, but, you know, getting down with one arm and the weapon against your shoulder was super hard. I tried my best. You should be supposed to be high crawling now. Hey, look at it. Look at the muzzle of the weapon. Hey, listen, the muzzle is not supposed to be slung across your back. Hey, you stop. Just like that. Hold it. How you holding it? Like that right there. So it's not across your back and also so you can keep the muzzle out of the dirt. Leave me. Fall to your knees. Brace yourself to your non firing hand. I'm down. Tuck your, tuck your rifle in your chest. Roll. Re engage the threat. So hey, you two. Hey, you better get your head in the sun. Hey, hey ladies. Watch her, watch the muscle you're Stop, right here, look. You need to grab. You need to grab the clean. All right, right here. Take over to the back line. You hold the clean right here next to the Take it off of your shoulder. Get your arm out of the sleeve. Hey, get your arm out of the sleeve. There you go. Hold it just like that. Rest it on your arm. All right, heads down, head facing there away. Your Let's go. One of your legs should not move. Oh, you're only using one leg to push. Yep. Hey, get your arm out of the sling, Grease. All right, just grab that sling. There you go, and just drag it. Get the arm on the ground. You got to use your right arm as well, Greaves. Get your head down. Get your head down. Good, just like that. All right, elbows and knees. Let's go. Good job, Johnson. Let me get that. Let me get that. You're good, Greaves. Go to low crawl. Hey, right, next two down. I'm up there, see me. I'm down. Good, Oliver. Good, Reese. Let's go, man. Hey, good, just like that, all right? Jake? You're going to reach out with one leg and both hands, and you're going to pull and push. Let's go. Head down. Good. It's not a race when you're low crawling. It's nice and steady. you got to make sure your head's staying down. Making sure your body's staying flat on the ground. Get your head down. Let's go. Hey, good. Go to low crawl. Go to low crawl. Very cute. See, stop looking around, uh, Wooden. What are you looking for? Bullets? <laughs> Flying over your head? Keep your face in the dirt. Let's go. There you go. Look, he's scared. Look at his face. There you go. Sounds like a sand from Dead Sea is good for you. Let's go. Put your face in the dirt for yourself. Hey, hey, right here. Stop. Hold on, hold on. Hey, right here. So listen, you hold on to this. You want to grasp it, grasp it like right by here. So you hold it right by there. So you're keeping that up, kind of up in the air. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, look, hey, hey. All right, good. Go for Take it off your shoulder. Hold the sling. Hold it like that. Reach your authority and pull. You can still hold on to the foot. You can still hold on to the other. Hey, next two down. Face that weapon forward. You're going to get up, keeping that weapon nice and straight down range. You're going to get up, that weapon nice and straight down range. Run three paces and get down. Hey, you too, Petra Fresno, let's go. I could not see, one of my eyes was closed the whole time. Someone has my weapon. We'll figure it out later. You gotta write the rest of it, Touch. Sure. Now you can see your rank. Where's my rank? <laughs> e zero. I cannot afford to fail. It's my wife bought the tickets and to get here, and because it's after the holidays, the plane tickets are like a thousand dollars. 
well, for the back and forth. And I, I do not come from a background that can afford to just do that frequently or to get rid of the tickets and get more. I, I've, been, I've been pushing harder because of that. Because if I mess up, if I get recycled, then it just hurts my wife. And I will not let that happen. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm Master Arnold Vyers Kabar, and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. Before we get started, by show of hands, does anybody have any waivers that have prohibited you from participating in this lesson? No? Outstanding. Rules of engagement for this classroom. Sit up straight, take notes, keep your hands off your face. By show of hands, who's been stressed out before? Okay, okay, put them down. So in the Air Force, some of you may be asked to get deployed. And we've already taken the lesson, right? Preparation for combat stress. Upon returning, there may be some stress that you may encounter either during your deployment or upon your return. So this lesson is going to help you cope with those issues that you may encounter downrange later on in your life or how it feels like when you get back. Uh, for example, when I got deployed, it didn't affect me. Uh, it was another day in my Air Force way of life, but I had a lot of peers that it changed their way of being. It changed who they were. It changed how they view things because everybody deals with combat a little different, right? So displaying combat stress, what does that look like? Displaying combat stress symptoms is not a sign of weakness, lack of discipline, or insanity. Rather, the symptoms and reactions are normal <laughs> response to abnormal and stressful situations. Zero week of training, by show of hands, who was scared of BMT during that zero week of training? You got off the bus and it rattled you a little. You weren't expecting for it to be this way. Who wasn't scared? And what was, why was that, Wingman? Trainer Williams, can you, uh, can you explain? Is that your name? Or Trainer Wilkins? Trainer Wilkins. Three questions are, I wasn't scared because I mentally prepared myself. You, meant, you knew. What did you mentally prepared? What else? How did you mentally prepare for BMT? Um, I, I worked on a lot of like yelling at people, like dealing with people that yell, and, um, and getting disciplined a lot. So somebody coached you, right? Somebody yelled at you so you could develop that discipline. For those of you who were stressed, how did you overcome it? Or did you identify the stresses that were happening to you, right? Uh, for example, who was able to go to the restroom uh, for the first couple of weeks? OK, who wasn't able to go to the restroom for the first couple of weeks, right? It was your body's reaction to that stress, right? It was that physical reaction that your body was going through uh, that some of you had an urge to urinate or defecate. And in some cases, some of you couldn't go. Couldn't go, right? And so it created a lot of stress in some of you. Some of y'all blamed the food and you were like, oh, I don't know what the food. But the reality of it, it was the amount of stress that your instructors were applying to you. But now we're a little more confident, right? Now you've gotten the tools, your instructors have taken the time to train you, they've developed you. You understand how the game here in BMT works and you know, hey, have some discipline, do what you're asked to do, be on time, follow orders, and you're going to be all right. By show of hands, zero week of training. How many of y'all had those intrusive thoughts? Like, am I worth it? Do I need to be here? Uh, yes, women. Training Cole, can you share your experience? What kind, what kind of thoughts were going through your mind? What was your mindset? Uh, how was that stress happening here in BMT for you? Um, sir, training call reports is ordered. Well, when I got off the bus, I was very confident. I was like, yes, I made it. I've been waiting for this. I'm ready to get through this and graduate. And then during zero week, I, me and another wingman got in trouble and we got put on to do child runner. And I was nervous and then I cried. And I got yelled at even more for crying in front of the captain. And I went in the bathroom and I cried. I'm like, this is not it for me. I'm ready to go home. It's not worth it. But then my MTI came and talked to me and it made it better. So now when I do child runner, I do it perfectly every time. I even get compliments. So your MTIs were tough right off the bat. But throughout this training, they've taken the time to take a step back and say, hey, he or she is struggling. Let me coach them through this process. Hey, Wingman, what's going on? Talk to me about what's going on. Let me know because I'm here. I'm your Bill Belichick. Let's go, Tom Brady. You're my Tom Brady, and I'm Bill Belichick. I'm your Jimmy Johnson, and you're my Troy Eggman, right? What are we going to do? How are we going to get? Get yourself together, and let's talk. 
what are you feeling, right? And you talk through your emotions, and that MTI coached you through that, and then it was back to business, right? The next day, he was yelling at you all over again, what are you doing? Not standing at attention, right? And you were like, oh, it's back to business, right? Right? It's knowing, hey, that threshold is coming, that that hat comes off once in a while when we're struggling, that they're going to coach us through the process when we're struggling. And once they coach us through that, it's back to business. And that's what they did for you, right, Coley? Yes, and now you feel confident, right? Yes, sir. Back to normal. Get me, put me in, coach. Put me in. What you want me to do? I got this. Mile and a half, I got this. 100 push-ups, I got this, right? Because you're I had Cadre PT this week. Um, Monday was strength day. Um, so we got a lot of sandbag work. Um, really good. We've been hitting our legs and our core really uh, heavily. Doing a lot of injury preventative stretch stretches. Um, we're emphasizing toe points. Um, just like basic stuff to prevent injury. Um, so like every time um, we do like knees to elbows on a pull-up bar, um, we keep our back straight, but we make sure we point our toes to engage that muscle in our shins that's gonna prevent shin splints later on in prep because that's one of the biggest issues. Um, also, when we just warm up uh, and we, we like do knee hugs and put our knee back down, we keep that toe pointed and that muscle flexed. Um, we do small things. Uh, every time, he and our cadre ensure that we like make sure we do stuff in the warm ups right. Um, like just making sure we have a proper like midfoot strike um, when we come back down on high knees, just so we can solidify that run form that we need um, to prevent injury and to have better run form. It's definitely not about just getting yoked. It's about working out smart and also working out to prevent injury. So I'm really confident in um, what they have to say. Of course, why wouldn't I be? I mean, it's some of the best coaches from the nation, um, actually probably in the world, um, investing their time in us to make sure that we are best equipped for prep, best equipped for ANS, and most of all, best equipped for our um, said off. career field. You guys have to one day realize mistakes of one man impact the entire team. Exercise, flood a kick. Flood a kick. Position exercise, move. Move. Ready. Be it. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three.
from my right to my left. Front man on, front man, front man only. Count off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop. Nine, Too slow. From my right to my left. Count off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Next exercise, squat thrust. Next exercise, move. push-up position and you guys can figure it out. If you're in an odd row, you're grabbing a sandbag. If you're in an even row, you're grabbing a mat. Are there any questions? No, sir. Go! Your first super set will be as follows. Sandbag leg circuit consists of the following. Five lunges forward on each leg. Five lunges laterally on each leg. 20 squats, place the bag down. 10 jump squats. That is followed by your max set of chin-ups. Minus one rep. Are there any questions? No, sir. Hydrate. Hydrate. Let's go. Stop dragging your feet. None of those are counting. You're at zero. Still at zero. What? Unsure about how to do this. All I'm doing is I'm coming down into the lunge. I'm loading that leg and exploding up. All right? I'm not dragging my foot across like this. Okay? Coming down, explode up. All right? Keep your back straight. Get that look of the feet off your face. Keep it back straight, core tight. It's good.
Listen up. Your next super set will be as follows. 20, four count, mountain climbers, followed by 12 sandbag sit-ups. Ready? Fit! Stop what you are doing. Push up position, move. No. Except you, Panico. Get up, Nico. I'm gonna say, why don't we pretend your team's relying on you to do this, but now we don't have to pretend. Your team is literally relying on you to do this. Then get up! Get up! Stop cheering him on. It's one sit up. He has done zero sit ups. You don't need to cheer him on. Told you you'd be tougher than these guys. Go. Keep going. You'd be tougher than these guys, didn't I? Yes, sir. Yep. You didn't believe me. But now you believe me, don't you, Help. Get up, Trey Panico. You're tougher than these guys. This is his second set. He still can't do it. Down. Get up, Panico. <gasps> they can move from that position when you get up. Yes, sir. Don't just say yes, sir. Do it. <gasps> get up. <sighs> Not even kipping. Are you capable of doing this? <sighs> up. What? Down. 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 Not laying down. Tell you what, Nico, if you can give me two more sit-ups. Yes, sir. We'll stop. Stop thinking about yourself. Feet need to stay on the ground, Nico. Stop thinking about yourself. Yes, sir. Dig deep. Try up because your team is relying on you to do this right now. It is one sit-up. You are not telling me that your team is suffering because you can't do one single stinking sit-up. Recover! Get up, Nico. You guys want to be special warfare to hold yourselves to a higher standard. You're just going to keep getting better and better. So as a collective team, you guys will be successful. Not just as a bunch of individuals. As one cohesive team. Hooyah! Hooyah! Like I, I complain about my flight so often because I came from a harder background and they don't have the discipline that some of the people who came from worse backgrounds, the people who know pain or abuse, they already have that built-in discipline, and some of the people in my flight don't have that. And I think because I w had a hard childhood and I have it, I'm mad at the people in my flight because they didn't have difficulties. They were basically handed things, and that kind of annoys my soul. And that's why I complain so much about them. I have talked through it with a couple people in my flight. Because I am a very, I'm, I'm pretty petty, if I'm honest. Like, I will remember things. I, I will keep track of what's happened, what's slighted me. But I usually don't do too much about it. I don't worry about it. But I think that's what's the biggest thing driving me between not liking my flight is because of the lack of discipline and the fact that I was forced to grow up and gain the discipline. Um, man. Which isn't the most pleasant thought to think out loud. To I have to come to terms with that, that it's, they're just normal. You shouldn't be mad at them for that.
Wait, is, is the girl still Oh, lights off, we got a billion. Alright, boys, lights off.